What? Look at that, dude. All right, here we go. Check it out, guys. Route one, a new partnership. Super excited about this. Here we go. All right, so Yusuf, what are we doing today, bro? What, All do, we, right. what do we got? So we're gonna install the light bar yep. on top, the 6009 series. Okay. And we're gonna put the X9Ts in your grill. Where are those going? They're gonna go right here on your chrome insert. All right. One right here and one right here, right in the middle. Okay. Flush. Yep. They're gonna flash amber and white. And then right here where your emblem is, we're gonna have the X6s. They're gonna be nice, yep, nice and flush. All right. So back here, we're gonna have a license plate mount light. All we gotta do is pretty much take out your uh, the license plate we're gonna, screws. We're gonna lose the X mark one. Yeah. Oh no. So and then so the way we're gonna have it set up, Ford has uh, from the factory. Yep. They give us six aux switches, where which on this truck are on the top. Some are in the middle console. Okay. For older older Fords. Yeah. And we're gonna put aux one for your light bar, which is your mainly used, uh, you know, light. And okay. then you got your two aux two is gonna be your front grill. Yep. Aux three is gonna be where the emblem is, plus your license plate light. That'll cover. 360 degrees of your light. I like it, dude. So it's gonna look real sharp. You're gonna have amber and white lighting all the way around. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, so what do we got here? You were so we got saying... the X6 light head, which is gonna be mounted right here. Okay. Like so. And here it's gonna be nice and tucked away. Okay. And what we usually do when we first start installing is we put a heat shrink tube. Okay. Adhesive. Reason being is when we drill a hole, you know. That's what he's doing right here. That's what he's doing right now. Okay. So. When you drill a hole, uh, you know, these things tend to make a lot of vibration. Yep, yep. And sometimes that wire will start to rub. Okay. That adds an extra layer of protection. Oh, wow. So that's what we do here, Route 1 Industries. We make sure we weatherproof everything, especially here out in the Midwest with the salt, rain, <laughs> snow, and everything. We make sure that everything's 100% on the vehicle when it leaves here. I like it. out their Ford grills I mean these things are humongous so it starts over here on the side you just got to really yank on it yep so over here and come over here kind of it's it's just a bit that's wow. it that's sometimes it. I hear some stuff coming apart <laughs> and then uh, what we do is we got the uh, panel remover See, with Ford, you got to give it some effort. Chevys, they just fall apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> That's true. That is true. All my Chevy people just thumbs down. The and then there's you know? some pins in here. We just drop those. And that's what we're going to do next is take this off. And we're going to start marking it up for the lights. All right, man. What does that look like? I've never seen it off the truck. You know? Here it is. That's the interior. Wow. So I think most likely we will be able to mount your lights right here. That'd be sweet. All right. Yep. So the X9s will go right there. We do have the brackets made out for them already. All right. Sorry, it's a little dirty. No, you're fine. <laughs> All right. So Yusuf, what do we got? You say come over. What okay. Got? I got the X scope. So I just had to drill a wire, uh, drill a hole okay. for the wire. Okay. Uh, we're going to slide that in. It's clean. Okay. Nice and flush here. So it just takes a little bit of wiggling, kind of some manpower here and line it up with the original holes on both sides there you go you gotta tweak it a little bit and then these are the anti-theft screws yep and it does come with the the bit for it all right so i'll just put that on our impact here on a level like one to five diy what are we at on this if somebody had to do this on their own like oh this is easy two three this is yeah this is the easiest part right here okay and you've just seen how long it took us the clip yep uh pretty universal mount for anybody's license plate done Wow, look That's at that. That's it. Now we just got to wire it in. All it right. goes on a simple on and off switch if you're only getting this part. Yeah. And this is part of our foreman kit. All right. So you will get that with the 6009 uh, light bar up top. All right. So stay tuned for the next part. All right. All right, Yusuf, what do we got here? So we took the side emblem off. Okay. And we installed the X6 okay. in there and use some uh, stainless steel hardware. Yep. Right now, what I'm about to do is heat shrink them. Okay. And what we do here at Route 1 Industries is we have a two step system. We use the, the best heat shrink uh, butt connectors yep. by Permaseal and they pretty much ooze out and then we'll let them cool down for a little bit and we'll slide the heat shrink tube which also has adhesive on it. Okay. And that way it'll provide double the protection against the weather yeah. and whatnot. So you'll see that in the next in the next part of the video. A little premium here. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. 
We're gonna go to the next one here. And that just seals it in? That seals it in. The water will get inside to that metal part. Mm -hmm. Electricity is a uh, best friend of a water. Right. They love to bond with each other. So that way you don't have to worry about that piece of metal in there that crimps. Okay. Getting any water on there and causing the corrosion. So let that cool cool down for about a minute. All right. And then we'll come back with the tube, like I said, and uh, you'll see that in the next part. All right. Nice. That's sweet, dude. Yeah. Right, so Yusuf, what do we got going on here, bro? All right, so we finally got the uh, X6 mounted. Okay. As you can see. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? why were we not using screws and we got bolts? So the screw eventually with the vibration and everything, it'll widen out the hole that it's originally in. Okay. And the light will fall right back out. With this, it's uh, got the wa washer, lock washer, and the nut. Okay. So with the vibration and everything, it's not going anywhere. It's stainless steel as well, so it's not gonna rust. Okay. We loom up our wire. You made the hole right here. All right. Kind of just push it right through here, and then we're gonna we're gonna grab it from the top here. I gotta kind of reach down in there. There it is. So sometimes we make the wire a little bit more extra, but yep, rather have it longer than oh yeah, than shorter. So it's coming up right now with it. And all you gotta do is just just clips right back in. Clips right back in, and that's oh. how it looks with your truck. What? Oh, that would be sweet. Yep. Heck yeah, that'll really reflect too on the chrome, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, um, you got a quick sec? Yeah. Uh, can you show me the floor? Of course. So this is what these guys have not seen yet. Yep. Got a whole showroom. Come on in. So this is our shop area. Okay. And over here, we made a uh, showroom. Okay. For all our customers to come in, uh, kind of see all the lights we have in stock. Wow. And we add a little bit of stuff that customers might need. Okay. Uh, like over here, we got the fuses. This is, we're gonna make this section actually, we're gonna implement more stuff. So it's gonna have more of the stuff we use in our shop on okay. a daily basis. Yep. Uh, over here we have our camel beam lineup, which has more of our scene lights and floodlights, off-road lights right here. Nice. And then over here we have our Midwest strobe section, which is our most popular section here. Okay. This is what we specialize in is warning lighting. We have yeah. directional sticks, surface mounts, hideaways, uh, mini light bars, beacons. Yeah. And then over here we have our straps. We get a lot of straps from the towing, yep. towing industry. They come in here. Uh, they need straps for uh, recoveries, uh, towing cars. So how did you guys? So a little plug here. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Yusuf over here, uh, Christian from CNI Services turned me on to Yusuf probably about 18 months ago. We've actually been talking back and forth for about a year. Um, and when I saw Christian kind of give the nod that you make great products, good installs, mm -hmm. and you've been holding your own for the last 12, 18 months. Right. Hardcore, I've been looking to upgrade my lighting on the truck. A lot of you guys know that. Right. I just had the little like 17 inch Falcon uh, LED light bar. It's an okay bar. Yeah. It's yep. a good, good little starter, but I didn't have 360 degree uh, protection or lights or anything like that. Um, how did you get started doing all this? So I started this business at 19 years old. Okay. And from there, you know, I expanded. At first I was selling stuff online. Yep. And then we started doing uh, cold calls, going from business to business, towing companies, uh, snowplow companies, landscape companies, construction companies, and seeing what we can really get. Yeah. Uh, I started this actually, the reason I started this was when I was working with my father, he had a used heavy construction equipment dealership. Okay. And all these oversized load trucks were coming in, decked out with lights. Some guys went all out. They didn't just have a beacon. They had like six grill lights on their Kenworths, Peterbelts. Yeah. And from there, you know, I wanted to do it. So I started doing my research and slowly, slowly we started our own brand and we grew from there. You have this whole store now with your wife. Yep. You guys are a young couple, young hustlers, man, making it happen. Yep. And by the way, like you said, you've been in the industry, construction, you've been working with your hands for the last five, 10 years. So this isn't something new to you. No, I've been actually working since I was 14 years old. Yeah. And then when I started at 19, I was only doing sales. Okay. And then we finally, you know, started doing, you know, trial and error working and, you know, from our mistakes, we're learning stuff and we started installing stuff and, 
we're using better material every day we're learning new techniques every day yeah and that's just the goal every day becoming better every day becoming better and it's all about the hustle man I like this, man. I like All the attitude. The this guy, uh, he's a butt kicker. We've been actually lining this up. When was our first call? Like March? Before COVID. Before COVID. So Before like COVID. the whole world has changed in yes. the last six months. Yep. Um, but uh, here's the deal. Uh, Brian's 10 does save 10% on everything Route right. 1. Yep. So uh, you want to go to the website, route1industries.com. Mm -hmm. You can call here or you can even shop on the website and they'll ship it to you. Correct. All right. Well, I don't want to keep this guy any longer. Let's go back in the bay. We got to keep the uh, install going so we're not here all night. But yep. Thank you so much. Brian, thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, let's keep it going. All right, Yusuf, you're going on top. What do we got? All right, so we're going to take out the old light bar that you had. Yep. And uh, very soon, you're going to get the upgraded uh, Midwest Strobes 6009. All right. P, P for permanent. Okay. Uh, light bar, we're going to change also these, uh, the third brake light mount, we're going to change it with an Akari. Yep. Uh, because the wire is going to be hidden inside. You're not going to see the wire like this right here. Yep. You'll definitely not see this. It's going to be nice, clean, and it's going to be aluminum. So it's a win-win. Let me ask you this. Like, so like this light bar, this is my first one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know. Is this a good light bar And like compared to what you guys sell? Is yours more of a like a Cadillac it's, model? It's, yeah, it's a Cadillac. It's okay. a premium. Okay. Uh, this is more of a you know a generic, you know something to get somebody by. Yep. Ours is in the long run. It's, yep. you're, you're, it's it's sealed different. It's built different. Yep. Uh, and we can even customize it to customers. You know specifications but it, that just depends on the order quantity so. all right man well if you guys want to uh, stay tuned we're gonna do a little uh, time lapse here a little install and keep it going all right all right what do we got all right here we go taking it off here end of an era you know yeah and we're gonna set this to the side we're gonna clean the surface now all right very important to clean the surface my truck is dirty yusuf people yeah. think i'm an actor bro like we're always so clean i don't know maybe you sit at home all day and uh, <laughs> make youtube videos yeah <laughs> All right, so what do we got? So this is the uh, Akari okay. uh, series uh, third brake light okay. uh, light bar mount. And what we're going to pretty much do, this is the first step of it. As you can see, it's sealed here. This is forward facing. These clamps go up in here and they clamp. Okay. And you don't need to use the screws that are already there. So it's, it's dependent on itself. Yep. It's very heavy duty. Uh, I love using it personally. It's better than the rest of the uh, third brake light mounts. So. All right. All right, so we did a little bit of change because of the uh, dump buyer dump yep, insert. Yep. So we just went with the regular third brake light bracket. Okay. Uh, that one just didn't clear. Yep. Uh, so now we got it up here, mounted the 6009. Uh, okay. It's mounted up here, the wires ran inside now. This inside and it's going down all the way to the uh, where the aux switch wiring is. All right. And we're gonna be ready within the next hour. We should have everything wired up, ready to go. Fire so stay tuned everybody. All right. All right, a little pro tip here. We got a little uh, bonus. What do we got? So we use uh, inline fuse on most of, actually all of our installs, uh, but this one's already powered from the truck. So it's got a uh, fuse and a relay. But what happens is, for example, these X9Ts are grabbing a half of an amp. So right here we have a one amp setup. Okay. And what we'll do is, instead of overloading the lights and putting 20 amps to them, we'll throw this in the middle and cut it down to five amps. Oh wow. Or three three amps. So a little bit of a switch. buffer. Yep, a little buffer. That way you don't burn out the lights. And in the long run, it lasts you. I like it, man. Yep. Very cool. All right, guys, so we are basically done. Yusuf, how are we doing? We are doing phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. Pumped, Thank bro. you for your patience. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long eight hours, I know, but wow. it takes a lot of detail in this type of uh, work. Uh, with the wiring, making yeah. sure everything's weatherproof no, and secured. No, you did a clutch job. Uh, Thank you. I really appreciate you, Karen. All right, can we do uh, one final walk around for these guys? Sure. Uh, this is a completed finished product. I can't wait to see this thing at night, bro. Oh, yeah. If it's this bright indoors, I'm telling you what, I'm pumped. And the camera doesn't do justice. No, there's no way, guys. Like, telling you straight up. Like, look at that light bar on top. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting all, I'm getting all excited. All right, one more walk around. So what do we got going on? Okay, so up front. We got the X9Ts, okay. and we did them alternating for you. So while this one's flashing orange, this one will flash white, vice versa. Yeah. It'll go back and forth, and it kind of cuts through. If you look over here, you got your LED headlights on, yep. and you can still see the reflection of with my hand. Absolutely. With the light cutting it through. Uh, up top, we got the 6009P for the permanent. All right. And uh, it's mounted to your uh, third brake light uh, bracket right there. Yep. So it's permanently mounted, the, the wires right inside. And that's working off your aux number three. All right, and we got all the upgraded switches. So this is like right. actually hardwired in, like big boy club. Look at this. What? Dude, I love it, man. Yep. So your aux two is your grill lights. Okay. That's that. Your aux three is your light bar. So hit three. 
So there's three off. All right. Three on. What? And then four is your side emblem lights as well as your rear x scope license plate. So that cuts that off, cuts it back on. All right, sweet. And then uh, the license plate. Where yep. are we at? So we have here the x scope. Okay. So pretty much this is a 180 degree light. This yeah. is mounted straight to the license plate. We don't have to drill any holes or anything. Yeah. Just take the screws out. Well, you know, remove it if there's any cap or anything and just put it right on there. I like it. Uh, it's flashing on amber and white. We still got the uh, backup cam, so that's great. Yep. And, and the wire's hidden. That's the nice thing. Yeah. So we tried to make this truck look as covert as possible yep. for Brian. No wires sticking out. Everything is zip tied, cleaned up. Loomed. Yeah. So, Looking you know, fresh, this dude. is going to last you a long time, Brian. I'm really, really, really excited, yeah. man. Um, I'm going to cut the lights out for you. Yes. So you can kind of get a, a, as a nighttime vision. Uh, nice Nighttime. Uh, I can't wait for plow season, guys. Like, if you miss my truck now, it's your fault, right? Because if we hit you, that's on you. What? Look at that, dude. Come on. If you guys think this is nice, big thumbs up. Yusuf did an amazing job. Look at this stuff. Wow. So you can kind of aim at the doors and stuff to kind of see that lighting. As you can see, it's going all the way around. The wow. whole shop is being, you know, hit with the you know the warning lights yeah so you're not just getting the rear you're getting the front the sides the rear there's no way this is doing it justice on camera no there's no way no this thing is so bright look at how look, we're lighting up on the on the cam this is crazy dude well i really really appreciate it man yep and uh brian thank you for coming in man absolutely uh, 